What's up, guys? Luna Wolf from XS. I am donating my money to charity, my YouTube money. Um, so I it's been a year since the last time I donated. I donated to um, God, what was it called? It's right here where I live in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, yeah, I can't remember the name of it. It's not the Salvation Army, which is a very good charity. Uh, the Salvation Army this year's uh, donations were down, but I gave money in person. They have the the bell ringer people. Like I don't know if that's all over America, and I don't know if it's in other countries. But if you ever seen those people ringing the bell around Christian uh, cr Christian time, around Christmas time, that's what they should change Christmas to Christian time. But around Christmas time, they'll have those people ringing the bell. If it's a red can and it says Salvation Army, that's a very good charity to give to because all the proceeds, I mean, those people do get paid, but it ain't it ain't much. You know what I'm saying? But um, all the proceeds, they're a nonprofit organization. All the proceeds either go to keeping their people uh, basically employed and then everything else goes to uh, charity. A lot of it goes to charity. Um, my buddy, this was, uh, this was a while back. My, my good friend that I grew up with, we went to school from, um, God, I want to, I want to say, uh, no, it was, uh, I want to say from middle school up. I can't remember. Those were turbulent times for me, <laughs> but, uh, we went from, we went to school together from middle school up. Hung out, uh, yeah, 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 middle school, now I'm remembering, okay, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, because we ate lunch together, all that stuff, I'm not going to say his name, he is a police officer, and me and him talk every once in a while, because he was, he was in the military, now he's a police officer, I want to say he's a detective now, and I'm in the military, so he sends me stuff, like funny military stuff on Instagram, uh, I'm not going to give out his Instagram name because I don't really know if he wants people knowing his Instagram name. So I'm not, I was going to, and then I'm like, ah, I don't know if he wants people knowing that. Uh, he's an ex Marine, which if you want to make a Marine mad, call him an ex Marine. So <laughs> I love that when I say ex Marine because the Marines will be like, uh, once a Marine, always a Marine. Like it's what they always say. But I mean, you know what I'm saying? retired he's a retired marine they'll probably get mad about that and be like i'm not retired i'm always a marine i'll kill you right now i i got a knife right here. i'll kill you right now but whatever um he wanted me i asked him i said what's a good police charity i've been donating my money i make on youtube a hundred dollars at a time and i have a surplus of youtube money right now so i'm wanting to do this more often i'm going really long on this video but i'm gonna get to the point the, the first charity he said, I said I wanted to donate to a police charity because there's a lot, and it's still going on now, there are a lot of, like, there's a lot of police hating going on, which any organization in the military is just as gu guilty of this as, uh, as anybody. Any organization is going to have some bad apples. But if you have out of, I don't know, like, 50,000 people, if you have one person do something bad, you can't demonize the other 49,999,000 9, people. I don't even know if that math was right. Y'all correct me on that if it wasn't down in the comments. But you can't demonize everybody in a, um, a, a job role. You know what I'm saying? Like, say you run into a sheriff and he's a jerk. You can't say all police are sheriffs. I mean, <laughs> my bad. All police, I'm having a lot of uh, foo, foo paws, faux pas, whatever. Uh, you can't say all police are bad just because you ran into like a sheriff. You can't be like, uh, the Birmingham Police Department is bad because today I ran into a Shelby County Sheriff and he was a jerk. You know what I'm saying? And that's what people are doing and it makes me angry. Uh, people are demonizing all law enforcement officers. I don't know. There's there's a lot of people. I've met a couple, a handful of people in the military who are demonizing police officers. When I was younger, I used to street race, and my buddy who uh, told me to donate to this charity, it's called Cops, is what the charity's called. He told me to donate to this charity. He used to street race too. When you're street racing, you're asking to get pulled over by the police and harassed. 
And I did, and I'm sure he did as well. But, I mean, now I know I'm like I was asking to be harassed. There were several times that I ran into police uh, minding my own business, and they searched me or whatever. But I understood. Uh, I used to live in this apartment that was it, the uh, my apartment was in the alley. You know what I'm saying? Like where where I exited. So I didn't go out the main entrance. I went out the alley because that's where my, my room was. And just about every time on the weekend when I was out there, I would go outside and smoke because I didn't smoke in my apartment. Police would pull up uh, and they would get out and ask me questions. Sometimes they searched me. But eventually they, they got to where they would pull up, see me, and just kind of wave because they'd be like, oh, okay, that dude lives here. Because they got to know me. I stayed in that apartment two years. And, you know, and it, it was like the first six months where I was getting stopped constantly, just staying in the apartment smoking. Now, that would make people mad if that happened to them. But to me, anytime they got out and they'd say, hey, man, what are you doing here? And I'd be like, I live here. And they'd be like, well, we're, we're going to search you because we've had break-ins. And I would say, I completely understand. And I'm glad that y'all patrol this because there were some uh, vehicle break-ins happening. But um, I, I would say, I'm glad y'all are doing this. I didn't take it personally. Did it kind of aggravate me? Yes, it aggravated me because I'd be smoking. I'd be like, man, I got to put on my cigarette. I got to hold, you know, my hands out. Not like, you know, I got to keep my hands out of my pockets. And it would, it would... Not ruin my night, but it, it would frustrate me. Uh, but I didn't take it personally from the police officers because they're just they're trying to keep that area safe, and it wasn't a great part of town anyway. So I was kind of glad they were there. But um, I've I've had my run-ins with the police, but that doesn't make me hate all police. I've, I've had one or two out of all the police I've ran into, one or two police that um, that that were jerks for no reason. And I don't blame all police. I treat them all with respect because I know it's the same way when, with the military. When I'm wearing the uniform, I look like every other person wearing the uniform. So I'm going to try and be as nice as possible so that, uh, you know, some uh, I, I don't affect somebody else in the uniform who looks like me. Because we all have a similar haircut. We all wear the same uniform, basically. And uh, I don't want somebody else ruining that for me. I want some jerk be, being an idiot, you know, and then everybody thinks I'm an idiot because I'm dressed like him. And we're in the same branch or whatever. But anyways, I'm going on my rant and I've gone way too long. So we're going to get this started. I'm donating, donating $100 to cops. It is Concerns of Police Survivors. So you can go to their website. Just look up Concerns of Police Survivors. I'll put a link in the description down below and you can check out the website. It is a, um, this is straight from my buddy. He says they support officers who were killed in the line of duties Family. So, like, uh, if an officer is killed, they support the family, which is a great thing. And I want to, like, the next charity I'm going to give to, that I want to give to. If you have a charity that you think is justifiable to give $100 of YouTube money, because this isn't really my money. It's it's money made from y'all watching these videos. So, if you have a charity, send that to me or comment down below and let me know. And uh, don't... Not no uh, GoFundMe, you know what I'm saying? A lot of those are scams. I'm talking about a, a real deal charity. Concerns of Police Survivors is a real deal charity. The next charity I would like to give to you is a military charity. This is just like a military charity. So these men and women are protecting you, and they die. What do their families do? You know what I'm saying? If 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 it's a woman that gets killed and her, her husband, you know, he's working, you know, just like a regular job... He just lost a lot of income. Plus, I'm not saying like that sounds bad, but I'm saying plus he's got to uh, pay for her funeral and go through all the legal costs. And it, with a police officer, it's never like finalized. It's never like, okay, this police officer died. Here's your money, uh, spouse. You know what I'm saying? It's never, it's like in the military, they do an investigation. It's not like in a normal job where if you die on the job, uh, they just straight pay out, but so the spouse is out of a lot of money going through this grief. That is not something they want to deal with money and grief. And so charities like this are awesome for police families and for military families. So that's why I'm going to click the hundred dollar option. Uh, that's why I'm going to give to the other one. Uh, would you like your employer to match? I don't think the United States Air Force is going to match what I'm doing. 
pretty sure. Like, I'm not saying anything about, uh, I would like to dedicate my dona donation to someone special. Uh, about the only person I'd like to dedicate it to is my grandfather, who is a Marine. And, um, yeah. So, I'm not going to put his name, though. What is a salutation? Oh, I have to put, okay, my name and all that. All right, I've gone way too long with this video, and I want to apologize to everyone here. But this is a good thing. You, especially my longtime subscribers that watch most of my videos. I know y'all don't watch all of my videos. I don't watch all of my videos. I might watch one of my videos just to see if I messed up or said something stupid. For, oh, uh, last name. Company, I'm gonna put United States Air Force uh, address. Can't say my address out loud. I don't want nobody stalking me up in here. I can say my city, Birmingham. Ain't nobody gonna just go ride around Birmingham. Why is that spelled? That ain't spelled wrong. Oh, it says it. It says it's spelled. That ain't spelled wrong. That ain't spelled wrong. Get out of here. Alabama. Okay. All right. This is. I'm sorry I'm boring y'all right now. Country, the United States. Phone number and email. Boom. All right, so now they want card number. My um, I'm gonna make sure I'm not putting my card on on the screen. My proceeds from YouTube, I figured it out, and now they go straight into my account. And I try and keep up with how much has gone into my account. I'm not making as much as I used to because I had, when I was in Afghanistan and Guam, I wasn't able to upload videos like I was because of work schedule. And um, so I'm not making as much as I was, which really isn't that much, even when I was at the height of what I was making. When I was doing all the uh, reaction videos, when I was doing like six months of back-to-back -back reaction videos, um, the money was starting. It was like $50 a month, which is pretty awesome. So I still have a pretty good paycheck from that to be giving to charity. All right, that should be everything. I'm going to try. I'm going to take a screenshot of when it confirms it and put it up here or whatever. So it's not like I'm I'm lying. Not that y'all would think I'm lying, but I don't know. Some people are weird. Maybe they want to see it and make sure I'm not lying. I am not a robot. All right, cool. Hopefully that's all right. Uh, yup, yup, yup. This is coming straight from the... I love the company, United States Air Force. It's coming straight from the United States Air Force. I should put Air National Guard, but whatever. I don't feel like typing that all out. Okay, it's loading. Why is it in red? So it gave me the... Um... Okay, I'm going to screenshot that. What is that? Get out of here. So it, it said, thank you. Your donation is complete. It shows the date. It shows the charity. It shows the amount. It shows the transaction number, which I'm not going to include that. I'll give you screens. I'll give you a little whatever of uh, the date, charity, and amount, and then the. Uh, nah, I can't do that. Okay, I'll just I'll just give you the the date, the charity, and the amount, and then I'll put the link to this website down below so y'all can check it out. So it says it went through. What I didn't like is it it's in red. Like the the top part is in red. Your credit card statement will list blah blah blah. It's okay. It's telling you what is going to show up on your uh, bank statement, but it's in red. It makes me like the first time I saw it, I was like, "Oh, it didn't go through," you know. But so I didn't want to do it again. But anyways, 
that's it. Just gave one hundred dollars of our money because I mean, how am I making this money? I get in front of the mic and just run my mouth, and I've run my mouth for fifteen minutes. So um, our money has gone to concerns of police survivors, and um, if you have a charity, once again, let me know down below that you like a charity that you like, and uh, we will. Get, I would like to be doing this once a month. I got to look back at my YouTube. I haven't checked how much I'm making on YouTube, which I'm not making a, m a lot anymore because I'm not doing as popular. I'm not doing like as clicky videos anymore. Not clickbait, but like when I was doing those um, reaction videos, those were getting a lot of clicks. The videos I'm doing now aren't getting as many, so I'm not making near the money I was doing that. But um, I just got kind of tired of that. I figured I would change it up, do something different. But anyways, guys, appreciate y'all watching. Check me out, SoundCloud, Instagram, Twitter, like always, check me out the streets.